Hey there guys, so today what we're taking a look at is Black Mesa running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this is essentially a remake of the original Half-Life game running on an updated version of the Source engine and it does look pretty spectacular. But unfortunately, as you can see by the numbers on the screen right now, it doesn't exactly run really, really well on this low-end hardware. A bit surprising considering it is the Source engine, but we have seen the Source engine get pushed to its limits before and the level of performance that it ends up creating isn't exactly impressive most notably apex legends which does use a modified version of the source engine doesn't exactly run super well on this specific system and it seems like black mesa also goes down that path of not really running extremely well on this hardware now we are running at the full 1080p resolution but we are running with the potato quality settings so this does lower everything to the absolute lowest or just turns off specific effects and while the fps average that we're getting is pretty decent being at 55 but our one percent lows really weren't very impressive at all a one percent low of 31 isn't exactly something i was expecting to get out of the source engine especially considering we are at the lowest graphics settings here so it seems like this is a very very demanding remaster of a classic game but visually speaking it does look incredible even at the lowest graphics settings it is still a noticeable improvement improvement over the original Half-Life and Half-Life Source. Now, of course, raising the TDP up to the balance preset on the AMD APU tuning utility, which is linked down below in the description, that sets a target TDP of around 22 watts. And while this does improve the overall experience slightly, it still doesn't make up for the 1% lows, just still not breaking out into a range that you would expect out of the Source engine. Though the average by the end of this round ended up being over 60 at a FP average of 64 and our one percent lows were at 38 it still didn't feel remarkable and there were a lot of moments where the one percent lows would dip pretty noticeably so in general it wasn't exactly an amazing result and we're going to see right now side by side stock the balance preset which is a tdp of 22 watts and the performance preset which sets the target tdp of 28 watts and you can see here all the different TDP set settings side by side. Now, overall, the averages and 1% lows do get improvements across the board, though the balance preset, uh, just going based off of its name that it lives up to, pretty much gets you the vast majority of the increase that you would get that you don't really need to go all the way up to the 28 watt TDP, especially because the temperature difference between all three TDPs is pretty noticeable. I will say, though, that overall, none of the settings at the full 1080 resolution felt that great to me i'm used to just the source games running at well over 100 fps that the results that we got here were kind of disappointing but overall the game itself is actually really really great looking that it's hard to really complain too much about the results here especially since at least it is still technically within a playable range and if we do knock things down to 900p, the results that we end up getting here are a little better. At the stock 15 watt TDP, we do actually see a nice increase where our FPS average is now at 68 with a 1% low of 36. The 1% lows are still within the 30 range, which isn't impressive and I would like them to be higher, but it is at least something that you can do to be able to play at the stock 15 watt TDP. Now, if we go up to the balance preset with a TDP of 22 watts, we see the FPS average go up to 68 and our 1% lows finally make it into the mid 40s, which is a impressive gain here. Of course, going all the way up to 28 watts does see our averages increase slightly, but our 1% lows pretty much stay identical to where they were at. So it's not really a increase that is worthwhile. In general, I would recommend just using the balance preset if you can get away with it. And if not, dropping down to 900p is going to make the stock 15 watt TDP perfectly fine on here. And this is on one of the heaviest maps within the game itself. And a lot of the interior areas you're going to get, be getting much better fps than this so in general i feel like i was actually kind of shocked to see just how heavy this actually ended up being on this apu i was expecting the game to actually perform significantly better than this but visually speaking it does look really really nice even at the potato quality setting and if you play this on a desktop pc that actually has a graphics card you can get some really nice visuals out of this and is really such a showcase of the power within the source engine itself and considering it's a game you could pick up for five dollars on sale right 
right now. It's not a bad buy if you've never experienced Half-Life or if you're looking for a improved visual experience over the Half-Life Source original remake that we got at this point decades ago. But anyways, I hope you guys found the look at Black Mesa to be useful and interesting. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.